Hi, Poema. I have both of your um, <clears throat> quizzes here to kind of quickly go over. Um, this first question on your first attempt asked, how can the equation be solved for x? So what we want to look at is what's happening over here. And you can see that a negative 5 is being added. So we have to undo that. We have to undo adding a negative 5. Well, the opposite of adding a negative would be subtracting a negative. Now, this one does get a little bit tricky because we have to remember what does subtracting a negative actually mean? If I'm taking negatives away, it means I'm actually adding. So in this example, we would be adding 5 to both sides. If you subtracted 5 from both sides, which is what you um, chose, subtracting and adding a negative are the same thing, so that would actually put a minus 10 over here, and we're trying to cancel that out. Um, a lot of times what I'll teach students when they see uh, two signs like that is to simplify it. So when we see adding a negative, remember that is the same as subtracting. Now I can see minus 5, and I need to undo that by adding 5 to both sides. Remember when we solve equations, we have to do the opposite of what we see. Question two asks what the solution is. So we have a plus, or excuse me, a plus eight thirds equals two thirds. So we're adding eight thirds to a. We need to do the opposite. We need to subtract eight thirds from a. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So those cancel out, um, and I'm left with an a. Two thirds minus eight thirds. We would need a common denominator. We already have one. So now we're just going to add across the top 2 minus 8. No, really, technically, not subtract, right? Um, and that gives me negative 6. <coughs> Excuse me. Negative 6 over 3, and that reduces or simplifies to negative 2. So A equals negative 2. Question three asks about statements that are true about their work. So Cedric and uh, Insha solved the same equation using the calculations below. So in Cedric's work, we've got a minus four-fifths. You can see Cedric adds four-fifths to both sides, uh, or 4.5, excuse me. Subtracting 4.5, the opposite of that would be adding 4.5, because what you're trying to get is a zero over here, and those two things cancel out. Uh, negative 1.5 plus 4.5, that's correct. Um, here we have minus 4.5 and then adding a negative. So again, that's kind of similar to that error you made, um, that adding a negative is not going to cancel a minus 4.5. It's just going to make it uh, more negative over there. So Cedric is correct because he used the inverse of subtraction and added 4.5. Yes, um, she is not correct. She did she she did add the opposite of 4.5, um, but that's not what you wanted to do. You wanted to subtract the opposite of 4.5. We we should have been adding to undo the subtraction. And adding a negative is the same as subtraction. So these two things don't cancel each other out. So question, um, let me move this over here. Oops. Question five is asking you um, to write an equation that's equivalent. Write an equation that matches the story. Okay, Gamal spent, Jamal probably, Jamal, usually that's with a J. Uh, Jamal spent twelve fifty at the bookstore. The difference between the amount he spent at the video game store and the amount he spent at the bookstore was seventeen dollars. The equation can be used. Oh, equivalent to this one. Um, so there's the equation that represents the situation. D minus twelve point five equals 17. So what's equivalent? Well, the equivalent expression or equation would be to add 1250 to both sides. We want to cancel this out. So this would be 12 D equals 17 plus 1250. So there it is. On the one you picked, you just changed the 17 to negative 17, but that's those aren't equivalent.
Okay, so again, you keep picking, um, well, I'm noticing a common error here. You're, you have to undo what you see by doing the opposite. If you watched and listened to my video, I stress that a lot in there. If I see a minus 7.6, I should be adding 7.6. This is correct. So what you put here is not the right answer. That's not how you solve equations. You have to do the opposite of what you see. Um, so there must be an error. You must have made a computation error when you add these two things together. 10.35 plus 7.6. So we've got to put a zero here. Yeah, that was his error. He didn't line up his decimals. So a computation error is the correct answer. What is the solution? We have 13 and 3 fourths plus x equals 7 and a fourth. So now the x and the constant over here are kind of switched spots. That's okay. You still have to undo that number. How do I undo a positive 13 and 3 fourths? I have to subtract. 13 and 3 fourths. So I have to subtract 13 and 3 fourths from both sides. So x equals 7 and a quarter minus 13 and 3 quarters. Um, oh, we have to do some borrowing here, so I'm not going to do it that way. I'm actually going to change these to improper fractions and I'll change them back. Uh, this is 29 over 4 minus 13 times 4 is 52 plus 3, 55 over 4. I just changed them to improper. Um, and now we're going to go 29 minus 55. That's negative 26 over 4. And 4 goes into 26 six times with 2 left over. And 2 fourths reduces to a half. <clears throat> so we get this answer here. Okay, that was the first attempt. So again, a lot of, um, oh darn it, I got all the way logged out. <clears throat> Hang on just a second. Again, the common mistake for you seem to be just not doing the opposite of what you see. So that's why I always tell my students, what do you see and how do you undo that? You undo it by doing the opposite. Okay, so here is your second quiz. Caitlin solved the equation for x using the following calculation. So again, right away, the error I can see is that this is a negative 5.4. And to undo or get rid of a negative, I should be adding so the error is she should have added 5.4 to each side. Some students will say, well, there's addition there. Aren't I supposed to do the opposite? Well, remember, that addition sign goes with the x. That makes the x positive. Now we have to look in front of the number when the x and the constant are switched places. Which of the following equations are equivalent? So let's see, two, two plus three equals five, three plus one equals four, 9 plus 3 does not equal 6. 3 plus negative 4 does not equal 7. <clears throat> negative 5 plus 3 equals negative 2. So it looks like here we're looking for all the equations um, where x equals 3. Yeah, so the first one, if you solve it by subtracting 2 from both sides, you get x equals 3. Here, if you subtract 1 from both sides, you get x equals 3. Here, if I subtract 9 from both sides, I get x equals negative 3. If I add 4 to both sides, I get x equals 11. And if I add 5 
to both sides, I get x equals 3. So yeah, you're solving them all and looking for the equations that had the same solution. Emma buys three and two-thirds yards of blue fabric and some yellow fabric at a store. She buys a total of five and one-thirds yards of fabric. The equation can be used to represent how much yellow fabric does she buy. So I think we're just solving this. So I need to subtract. Oops. Subtract three and two thirds from both sides. <clears throat> so I can subtract this way, but in order to, I can't take two thirds away from one third. So I do have to borrow. Um, again, my preference is to just make these improper. This is 16 over three minus nine, 11 over three. And that's five over three or one and two thirds. Remember when you make a mixed number improper, you multiply the whole number times the denominator and then you add the numerator. So five times three is 15 plus one is 16. Um, to me, it's just a little bit faster than trying to <clears throat> stack the mixed numbers and borrow uh, from the whole number. I think it's a little more confusing. Question eight we solved earlier, you had that one. <clears throat> Again, you should have been subtracting eight thirds from both sides. Question nine says a leak in a pool causes the height of the water to decrease by a quarter of a foot over two hours after the leak is fixed, the height is 4.75. This is the equation. What's the original height? So you're solving the equation for x, 4.75 equals x plus negative 0 0.25. So again, adding a negative, that's like subtracting. Or how do I get rid of a negative? I have to add. So I would be adding 0 0.25 to both sides. It looks like you subtracted. Subtracting 0 0.25 does not get rid of this. This is what you're trying to cancel so that you only have an x left. So 4.75 plus 0.25 is 5. There we go. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. You do have a third attempt on there, so you can go ahead and take this quiz whenever you're ready. Um, and if you still need some help, let me know, because I, I do not mind doing this. This is part of the job. Have a good day.